it. So yeah, yeah, we just don't want coach to be looking 180 degrees behind it. So we want everybody in front of coach. Tim May, go ahead. Taylor Swift has people behind her. Thank you, Sonny. Hey, Ron, what is the next step you want to see the defense take this week? Oh, they can improve on, as, as JT uh, Tui Molo said, everything. Right, that, that's but the way I feel, too. I think, I think it's, yeah, it's, it would say everything, everything. Yeah, I mean, getting three and outs, um, getting off the field on third down. I mean, you, you can name everything. You know, every every area of our game has got to improve you know, across the board, and that's what we're looking at it right now. we got a long road ahead of us, and we've got to keep trying to find those inches. Uh, Bill Rabidowitz, over to the left. Yeah. Well, I, I think for guys to actually do it in a game, it, it can um, build confidence and just say, okay, you know, I, I can do it in a game now because um, I've actually, you know, done it, and you know, hopefully that can build on his confidence to know that, you know, he, he needs to be a contributor for us, and um, we we need to play as many guys as we possibly can. So, plays like that make a difference, and you know, we're going to need all these guys to play, and um, you know, Gabe's a part of special teams as well, and so hopefully that can springboard and moving forward. Tony Gerdman, Buckeye Huddle, to the left. Ryan, Ryan, we talked to Brandon Dennis. What kind of responsibility is that to be the team's punt returner? Well, anybody who carries the ball is is really, um, you know, the whole team is in their hands. So um, we, we talk a lot about ball security and how important that is. And the decisions that have to be made as a returner, certainly a punt returner in particular, are very critical. So these are very big decisions that he has to make on when to field it, when to fair catch it, when to return it, um, you know, in pooch situations, when to let it go for a touchback, you know, these types of things in the battle of field position. So um, you know, that, that's a big, big decision. A Mecca's been back there in, in the past. So uh, Brandon's someone that we trust, and we trust him for a lot of reasons. But um, you know, he has to continually understand that the decisions he make are gonna, makes are going to uh, affect our team's success in terms of the field, field position game. Um, if he can continue to do and make decisions he made this past game and take care of the football, then he can be a weapon for us. Andy Baxter, Letterman Row. Yeah, Yeah, they, they um, you know, they're, they're a big part of our offense, and um, you know, I know they only got a couple targets this past game, but but they they'll get more targets than that. They're they're they've worked really hard. They'll they'll continue to do that. They're they're involved in all phases, and um, you know, you're seeing some of those guys. I, I think the unit's improving overall, and so you'll see you know more and more as the season goes on. You know, more tight ends uh, in the game and, and groupings, but also um, you know more involved with, with in terms of touching the ball. Jeff Gilbert, Press Pros. Well, I, I think when you watch the film, you're seeing um, them play a Big Ten opponent, which um, gives us a little bit more of a barometer of what we're dealing with. And they, they played Wisconsin uh, strong. They, they, they're, they're physical up front, like you said. They do have some really good skill players. So, um, you know, it, it looked like a, a Big Ten style of game just overall. And you know, there was a point where that game was in the balance. And I know that has our guys' attention. Austin Ward, the podcast. Sonny was sitting there. He made it sound like uh, moving the mic was no big deal. Uh, what's your level of appreciation for what he did on short notice, but also just because you spent the last nine months talking to him, learning the yeah. drill, and then having to go over there, get the headset, the communication, run that defense, the whole deal? Like, I wonder what you can maybe pat him on the back more than he wanted to. All right. No, he's he's a very serious young man for his age, very mature, and came in early. And you know, because of all of that, he's he's matured even quicker uh, than we could have thought. But to make that move from safety to linebacker and then, like you said, making that jump, um, it, it shows you know, the work that he's putting in off the field that nobody sees. And I think that's the part for a lot of our guys, uh, especially when you're young, it's hard to appreciate that all the work that gets put in just gives you a chance to go play. Without that hard work, uh, you're not going to go perform the way that you know, we all expect everyone to perform. And so Sonny has put it in the weight room. You know, what he did with Coach Mick in the offseason was tremendous. So physically, he's put on the weight. He's done that part of it. But it's in the film room. It's, you know, working with James and, and the defensive guys in terms of, you know, extra film, watching it after practice, asking questions. Um, and, and, you know, I, I'll sit in on some of the linebacker meetings, and he's, he's answering the questions. He's very, very involved in everything that goes on. 
And, and the other part of it was, as the Mike linebacker, you're communicating with the earpiece all the defensive calls. So he had that on his plate as well. So um, a, a good example of somebody who, and that's going to pay off down the road for him, but very versatile and, and his ability to, to play multiple positions down the road just helps his overall value and his overall football IQ. Bill Landis, Kings of the North. Well, I, th I think in year two is kind of that, that year where you like to see guys take strides. But, um, you know, he's, he's still, he'll tell you, you know, he's still, there's things he's still, you know, working through. But, um, but, but he plays hard. He plays hard. And we can work with that. You know, at the end of the day, we always say the coaches, you know, we'll own the mistakes. You just got to play hard. And, and we'll coach you up, but we got to make sure we demand effort. And, and he does that. He goes really hard. So we can work with guys like that when they're giving great effort and they show physicality. Um, the other stuff is going to come. Um, I, I do think that he put in uh, the second half of last week, put the, the, the preparation he needed to in terms of off the field, which allowed him to play faster as well. Um, and we've talked about that before, how important that is. So he needs to continue to, to build on that routine. And then it just becomes now the consistency of doing that on a week to week basis. But if he does that, then you know, he's going to play a lot of football this season. Steve Hellwagen, 24 7 Sports. Hey, Coach, uh, just checking in on Cody Simon, Donna Jackson. Have they practiced? Did you figure either one or both are playing? Yeah, they're, they're both, they both practiced uh, today, and uh, they're both still day to day right now. Uh, Steven Means, Cleveland.com. Right, just following up with Brandon. I think when I got here, it was probably as big as much different than what I thought. Yeah, I was going to say they're both in the offense. Obviously, some things changed, but he seems to have very much embraced this punt return role. No, I, I think he's he's done great. You know, for someone that came in last summer, um, you know, even to, to get to where he was at midseason last year was was um, tremendous. And he, you know, he, he is going to be a big part of our offense this season. Uh, we're just getting going with that. Um, but the great receivers we've had, you know, they they do they're very much involved with special teams, and and he he's done that already. But um, but but we're going to keep you know getting him in the game and trying to, try to find ways to get the, the ball in his hands because um, you know not only is he a playmaker, but he's also got a great way about him. He's got a um, a great energy about him. He's got a physicality, a toughness, a grittiness that um, is is just contagious. And he's a guy you like to be around, and you know the guys really rally around him. So. A big part of our offense this season. And last question, Pat Murphy, Bucknut. Brian, when you have a debut like Jeremiah did, how do you respond next week and, and throughout the season to make that, I don't know, the norm, but to build on such an impressive debut? I mean, just working and just continuing to get better. Um, you know, there, there's there's some things in that game that he certainly, you know, wishes he had back, but. Uh, but also has had some good plays as well, and, and there, there's a lot to coach through there. But uh, he's got a great work ethic, and he, if he just keeps practicing the way he's practicing out here, I mean, he goes and he goes and he goes, and he works hard. And, and now on a week-to-week -week basis, you know, the game plan will change. There'll be tweaks along the way, different formation changes, uh, you know, different schemes. And so now you, know, you got to take a Tuesday and a Wednesday and, and put it on the field. Tuesday is first and second down. Third down and, and red zone is, is today. And so you get that meeting, and then you got to go put it on the field, and you only may get a few reps, you know, during the during the week of that play in particular, and and so that that's a new experience that he's going to have to you know learn to do. But um, but the work ethics there, the attitudes there, and certainly the talents there. Great, coach. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan.